What's good everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to fix Fortnite from crashing because I know Fortnite has been going through a lot of issues, especially with the new season releasing. But today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fix it right now. All right, so one of the first things that we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and click on your Windows key and open up Epic Games right here. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our library over here, just click library. And then over here where Fortnite is, basically what you're gonna wanna do is click on these three dots right here. Click on the three dots, like manage. We're gonna do that next, we're gonna do that next. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to options and come over here and make sure that you have these check mark right here. So make sure you just have Fortnite save the world. You can have this checkmark if you want. If you don't have it, then don't worry about it because you don't need it. High resolution textures. Make sure you have this unchecked. Direct X12 shaders. Make sure you have this unchecked as well. You don't really need it. You can. It's only 100 megabytes. I would just keep it checked, honestly. But pre-download stream assets. Make sure you have this checkmark. This is going to make sure that you don't actually like download assets while you're gaming. And which can increase ping as well. So make sure you have that checkmark and don't have that unchecked mark. And yeah, you should be good right there. And just click apply. And then your game should uh, download. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is super, super simple. Basically, all you're gonna wanna do is click the three dots right here yet again, and go ahead and click manage, and come over here to where it says launch options, and make sure you have this check mark. Just go ahead and where it says land play, no splash, all this. I have this link down below in the description. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and copy and paste it right here in the launch options, and then just have this blue mark on, just like that. And that should be good. Also, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click verify files now this is going to make sure all the files are in the right area once you do that you should be perfectly set to go for that all right so the next thing that you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and go ahead and download nvidia app now this is an app to where you can update your drivers to the latest version a lot of people actually look past this step and it is super 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 important to do so yeah make sure you go into the description and click the link to straight to the nvidia app it's going to look just like this and basically what you're going to want to do is sign in make sure you sign in and it's going to make you like accept some things and like just do that you should be chilling but what you're going to want to mainly look for is drivers right here where it says drivers come over here and go ahead to where it says install and do custom installation and then just install the uh, most recent driver as well that could definitely help with crashes super super looked upon thing but it's super important as well to keep up to date with everything changing in game so you should be good once you update your driver all right so this is going to be the next critical step that we're going to do to help your game from crashing all you want to do is click your windows key right here and search disk and once you search disk what you're going to want to do is click a defrag and optimize drive so this is for ssds only i want to uh phrase that uh, make sure I really phrase that. This is for SSDs only. Do not um, fragment a hard drive because you don't need to. But okay, so I have my C drive right here. This is my SSD in my PC. What you're going to want to do is click optimize and you can do it for any other drive you have as well. As long as it's SSD, make sure you do this. Okay, go ahead and trim your drive and you should be good for that part. X out of it and then go ahead and click Windows key again, disk, and then go ahead and go to disk cleanup right here, disk cleanup. Go to your main drive that your game is on so c for me go ahead and calculate it and make sure you come over here it's going to pop up like this and make sure you do delivery optimization files direct shader cache make sure you delete all that because there has been a ongoing issue with fortnite where the um delivery like optimization cache or whatever it's called it makes your fps really low and stuttery for some reason and i think it's because of some issue going on but you can actually clear the cache just like this Go ahead and click clean up system files just like this click ok and this is going to calculate and it's going to delete all the files that you when it pops up like this again click ok and then click delete files after you do that you should be good so these are going to be the last two steps that you have to do to help fortnite from crashing yet again what you're going to want to do is click your windows key search percent t e m p percent and go ahead and open the op <laughs> open this file folder and come over here and go ahead and copy all of this like all of the files in here and then all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click delete the trash can come over here and this might pop up like this do do, th do this for all current items and then click skip because these are like some of the files that are still in use for some of the uh, processes on your computer go ahead and do that and then once you do that come over here to recycle bin go ahead and open it and go ahead and empty the recycle bin just like this clear the recycle bin and then it's going to take a little while to clear because there's usually going to be a lot of stuff in here most of the time if you use it a lot so the last thing that we're going to go ahead and do is clear our game settings now this is super simple to do you're just going to click your windows key yet again and then click percent local app data p 
100%. And then go ahead and open the file folder that pops up. And come over here, you're gonna wanna find Fortnite game. I believe that it's Fortnite game. Yep, Fortnite game right here. Go ahead and click saved. Go ahead and go to config and go to a windows client and then it's game user setting out here this is kind of weird because like you can uh mess with it but what i would recommend doing is just going here to game user settings and just click a delete now this is going to delete only like graphic settings so like you're going to be on dx12 instead of like performance mode but you can just switch it back after you are done clearing the game user settings now this can actually help for a lot of reasons for whatever reason your game crashes and won't load up again this will solve that problem but anyways thank you all so much for watching if you guys did enjoy it don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because it absolutely helps out so much but yeah i'll see you on the next one stay safe take care and stay safe